For a long time I have been quite happy with using Quasitso as my like home launcher. It's open source, it has very few bugs, it works quite well, it has all the functions and like features I would need, etc etc. But what it doesn't have is the exact like workflow that I want. The workflow that I want is something like O launcher, M launcher, uh, before launcher, these kinds of like minimalist uh, home screens that like avoid distractions, don't have like icons, uh, so on. But what these launchers lack is uh, weather. And I really like weather, like on my home screen. I super like weather on my home screen. It's so important to me because like, I keep my blinds closed pretty much always. I, can't, I cannot be bothered to open them. So instead of having to like open my blinds, then open a door, uh, actually two doors, and walking outside to my balcony, then looking up to see the weather, that takes so much effort. I prefer to instead just uh, look at my phone and see the weather. Now, without a home screen indicator, I have to open an entire app, which is annoying. Instead, it's nice to just be able to unlock my phone and then just like see the weather right there. I don't have to like wait, I don't have to like go around and mess around and do, do stuff. No, it's just there. Uh, I like that. So, I could not find a minimalist launcher that is open source uh, with a weather indicator. Uh, at least not one with the kind of user experience that I would want to have. Uh, and as such, I set out to do my do the obvious ultimate solution to the problem. And that's to make my own. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, say hi to Yam Launcher. What the hell is Yam Launcher? Well, as the name suggests, Yam stands for yet another minimalist launcher. And indeed, it's just one more minimalist launcher in the sea of minimalist launchers. But it does some things differently. For one thing, it has the bloody weather indicator. Not only do you get to see the current weather, you can also see the conditions. So you can see, is it like raining? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it snowing? Uh, you know, stuff like that. So like, it gives you actual information, uh, which is, you know, useful to me, at least. And I hope it's useful to other people. Uh, it also has the search bar on the bloody bottom of the screen. I don't like how O Launcher, for example, has a search bar on top. Like, phones are massive nowadays, and, you know, it's convenient just having it where my thumb is already, so I can just click the search thing and just, like, use it. Why it's on top? It doesn't make any sense to me. So, I have uh, actually put the search bar on the bottom, which I think is a big, like, it's a small detail, but I think it's a big, like, deal in terms of the, like, whole user experience and being natural, stuff like that, so. That's where that goes. Uh, and, uh, like, there's other touches like this. I made the, like, app menu quite a bit lar larger, and then, you know, it aligns to the bottom, so when you search, it actually shows the items you search on the bottom near the search bar. So, like, it's all very one hand usable and stuff like that. Uh, beyond that, I have also opted to do a crazy amount of customization. So, it didn't have everything when I launched it originally, but it's now on version 1.5, so like 5 updates in or whatever. And it has, like, you can change the font, you can change the background color, you can use material colors as well, material U, for like the background and text color. You can change text styling, you can change animation speed. You can see the thresholds of the swipe, so you can like change how much you need to swipe to do gestures and how fast you need to swipe as well. So you can like change the feel a lot. You can customize the amount of shortcuts. You can like, there's all the stuff you can do. You can also hide a basic anything. You can have no shortcuts if you want to. You can have up to 15, I think, uh, is the amount I set it to so far. Uh, you can hide the clock if you want to. You can hide the date if you want to. You can include a battery percentage or not. You can include weather or not include weather. You can choose the weather units from Celsius and Fahrenheit, etc., etc. There's a ton of stuff you can do. It's uh, very, very customizable. Uh, and there's more customization coming uh, in upcoming updates. So uh, you can look forward to that as well. Uh, and yeah, I'm still maintaining it. Uh, I want to improve it. There's bug reports and, you know, I work on that stuff and whatever, whatever. Uh, either way, just want to kind of share that I have this thing that I am making now, and I think it's really cool. It I daily drive it. It works well enough for me. I mean, I made it for myself, 
so of course it's good enough for that uh and uh, yeah it's a uh, it, it's there links in the description you can find it on Android, you can also find it on the ECU Android repository if you prefer that. It does, like the ECU Android repository does update faster than Android. So on Android you might like get an, get my app update like up to a week late, pretty much. Uh, uh, a bit less, but like it can actually take like multiple days. With ECU Android you are more dealing with like one or two days to get on like date. You can also get an APK from the Codeberg uh, or GitHub. And you can also uh, get a Google Play, but the Google Play is like a different build, so I don't think I can update it anymore with the Android versions, and also, because it's different signing, also there's some like different text in it to get it on there, and uh, also it, it is currently missing the GPS feature, because that feature is kind of broken. Uh, a whole video on my whole Google Play thing is coming out as well uh later but uh it's a whole mess uh, and the gps is getting fixed in the next release so in like the next few weeks you can expect to see the gps actually work properly but right now there's a bit of an issue with the gps uh, just that's on my roadmap to fix i've seen i have already fixed it i haven't released it yet and i haven't tested it properly yet <laughs>